Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, we'll be learning how to create uh, grouped bar charts uh, using Plotly, and we'll learn it in ten in the following ten steps. So initially, let's uh, import the libraries. We'll be using two libraries here. One is Plotly, which is used to create the charts, and the second one is uh, Pandas, which we'll use to declare the data frame. So the data that we'll use to create uh, this particular chart is uh, as mentioned here, as you can see, there are 12 rows and three uh, columns. The out of the columns, one is a numeric column, which is sales, and we have two categorical columns, which are country and category. So let's go ahead and create uh, the most uh, basic group bar chart. So as you can see here, like uh, if we mention just uh, these four things, that I've highlighted here, if we mention just those, then a stacked bar chart will be created. But to create a group bar chart, I need to add this one more apt attribute which says bar mode equal to group. So once I mention that and then I execute it, then we'll see that okay, now a grouped uh, bar chart has been created. So let us try to customize this chart to, and try to make it look even better. So the first thing that I'll do is adjust the chart size by adjusting the width and the height uh, of my chart. So once I do that, the as you can see here that the width of the chart has slightly reduced and it looks uh, slightly better. The next, next thing that I'll do is the addition of data labels. So data labels are nothing but uh, these uh, little uh, numbers which appear on the top of the bars which tell us about the total value for that particular bar. So what I'll uh, so uh, I just need to add this particular statement which says uh, text auto equal to true and it'll create the data labels for me and but I don't want the data labels to be like uh, uh, like uh, below the bar I I want it to come above the bar so to do that I would need to mention this statement called update traces and I'll mention this attribute which says text position equal to outside so once I do that it will create my data labels at top of the bars. Okay, if I mention that text position as inside, then it inside this is the inside text position and which is the default. So as soon as I mention it as text position outside, it will plot, it will create those text labels on top of the bars. So the next thing that I'll do is I would format the Y axis ticks. So as you can see here, the Y axis ticks are uh, uh, they, they they don't actually have a comma after the one so i would i want to add uh for format these ticks a bit and add like uh, a comma wherever uh, the thousands value start and another thing that i would want to do is see this 965 is very close to the top of the chart i don't want it to be like that i want some gap at the top of the uh, i want some space or some gap at the top of the chart so what i'll do i'll increase the limit of this y-axis as well so let's see how we do that. So first to add the comma and format the Y axis ticks, we just uh, add this statement, uh, update layout Y axis tick format equal to comma to add this comma that you see here. So if there, uh, this usually helps a lot when there are a lot of thousand values. So it'll, it just makes the Y axis ticks a bit more readable. And the second thing that I've done is for the Y axis, I've provided this thing called range which will so earlier the range was somewhere around uh, 1020 or 30 but i have increased the range to uh, 1150 so as you can see like there's a gap that has been created here so now we have a good gap at the top of the chart okay so the next thing that i would do is i want to add a chart title so we can simply do that by adding uh, these two attributes one attribute represents the position of the title and the other the uh, attribute uh, uh, like mentions what the title will be and we can add these two attributes in the update layout statement once that is done let's uh, try to customize the bar colors and how we can customize the bar, bar colors is add a color discrete map statement within the px dot bar uh, statement that there is so for this we specifically would need to mention like for every category what the bar color needs to be okay and this uh, these are the colors that are supported by plotly you can do a simple google search and see like which other colors are supported by plotly 
to change what we have mentioned here and these here are the uh, categories that you see here categories clothes electronic grocery and books so for each category we need to mention a particular color so once we do this so here you would notice that i've uh, created sort of a bluish green theme so once we mention all the colors and then we execute execute uh, the chunk of code this is what we'll get and for the final thing what i want is i want to change the theme of the chart so here just for illustration purposes i've created a for loop and uh, i'll just show you how all of these uh, themes look like and maybe you can choose one uh, one theme and then just uh, use that uh, going forward so how you can do that is so if you just need to use this uh, one theme then what you can do is you can just uh, write the statement template equal to template element so where the, you can just replace this template element with the desired theme so currently I'll, because i'm using a for loop to just show you that uh, what all the themes look like i'm doing it in this manner but you can simply like write plotly or plotly white in the place of this template uh, element and it'll work fine so let's see how all the themes look like so initially we have uh, the plotly theme which we have been seeing till, till now and then we have the plotly white then we have the plotly dark then we have the gg plot theme then we have the seaborn then we have simply white where uh, there are no grid lines mentioned and finally we have the none theme which just has a horizontal bar uh, present so currently i think i'll go with the none theme because it's uh, the most uh, appealing and most simple theme uh, which looks like so th that will be all for uh, this tutorial everyone thank you for watching